Michael Dixon to kick off for Seattle. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Charger drive about to get going. A sitting in first place in the division. They've got an open date on the calendar coming up next week. So, Charles, you and I were talking about this before the game. This one for them kind of has some extra importance. It certainly does because if they can get the win here and pad their lead a bit or at least keep pace, then they can really kick their feet up and say a job well done at this point and not have to worry about ball at all until they're back in their facility, back in their meeting room, getting ready for the next game. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Sony Michelle, his first carry. And getting this just shy of midfield, they spotted at the 49. 14 yards is the pickup there and a Charger first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter. And a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, get the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Over the middle, it's complete. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And the Seahawks are going to take over once again at their own 37 yard line. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. Here's Walker to start the drive. And space tough to come by there as they'll get maybe a yard to the 37. But Charles, you know, something we talked about last week, when you start believing whether you're in the midst of a special season or not, well, now they're at 6-0. Are you still trying to tamp down the expectations in that locker room? Well, to me, it's less about tamping down expectations and much more about not getting ahead of yourself as a team. Look, they've got to play each game individually, right? Many teams talk about being 1-0 at the end of each and every game each week. To me, you've got to understand you cannot win the Super Bowl in October. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, Smith. That's complete to DK Metcalf. Touchdown, Seattle! Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens. Although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. Michael Dixon to kick off for Seattle. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. At their own 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. 
And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, Mark, they can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. On second down, here's Herbert. And the Seahawks defense gets to him, and they bring him down. Uchenna and Wosu got the sack there. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They have pressure coming, and they got him once again. L.J. Collier. He's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. On is the punter, Scott, here as he gets this one away. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And the Seahawks on great field position to start this drive. They take over on the short side of the field. Time for our first check of the NFL scoreboard. The Raiders are out to an early lead. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. Walker now on first and 10. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball. Well, they told us need to get it going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed, but they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Throwing now is Gino. That's caught over the middle by Fant. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Ten yards and a Seattle first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in the play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. That's the first catch of the game for Goodwin. It's a first down. 21 0 our score after one. With the score, Seahawks 21, Chargers nothing. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Off of play action. Here's Smith. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Marquise Goodwin from 13 yards out. And the Seahawks are able to add on to their first half lead. Extra point up and through by Myers. And it is 28-0. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field. And we are ready to rock. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much because you're right. You get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also 
seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now, a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Here's Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. It'll go as a gain of four. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field. And I don't think he got there. Calling no gain there. And it leads to a fourth down. Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt him. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a check mark next to this play. Let's look back as this game progresses and see if this is one of the key plays in the game, even though it occurred early. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. And down to the 44, five yards that time. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. On second down, Eckler. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that it'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. Down to about the 32. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has a real priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Kick is good. And that drops a deficit from 28 to 25. Uh, maybe a moral victory of sorts. They're on the board here late in the first half, but this offense just hasn't looked that sharp. Yeah, but at least they got the three points, right? At least have something to quote unquote hang their hats on and maybe feel a little bit better about themselves as they head to the half. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And now consider the lead. The question is, how much is good enough? Are you going for more? It's the NFL. There's never enough, I believe, because they get reeled in all the time when you sit on the ball. I think that they will try and move the ball downfield and try and squeeze a few more points go, out of this go. first half. They'll be careful. They'll be a little bit cautious at times. But also, they will attack downfield and try and get in position for at least three points. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith, flush to his right. And that's knocked away and incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. On first down, Justin Herbert. 
And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Jordan Brooks with it. And the Seahawks are going to take possession of the football. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Gino now to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Oftentimes when you're losing the game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. He's got his tight end fan. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Myers' kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've come upon halftime with the visiting Seahawks. They're out in front. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Chargers going to get the football first here in this second half, and they trail as we get back underway. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. The Charger drive about to get going. The CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. That's trying to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers, they say to each other, you'd never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late, that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he's going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the margin on that scoreboard, obviously, for them, it looks daunting. And I don't know, Charles. I'm probably not focused on that right now. Maybe just chaining together a positive drive with plays like we just saw, giving themselves something to build on. Yeah, I think you're right about that. And what they have to be careful of is getting glued to that scoreboard, trying to do too much. Because if you do that, you're only guaranteed to start making mistakes. Just focus on one play at a time and make each one successful. Here's Herbert now on second down. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun, Herbert on third down. Ball oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Here's J.K. Scott now as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And the fair catch is made. It's going to pin him back here at the seven-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Seahawk football as they take over deep in their own territory. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Well, it's hard to imagine the first half going any better for them, CD. And now here's they begin their first series of the second half. I mean, they score here in this one. It's pretty much out of reach. We honestly might already be at that point, partner, because this team, they were dying. Dominant in the first half, continue to be dominant now. And I think they're viewing this as a put-away drive on their way to a lopsided victory. 
A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he'll lose yardage on this one. Back to the...